Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Feel Free Electronics Expert. What we're gonna do today is show you how to install the brand new Lowrance Elite TI in the sonar pod on the Feel Free Lure 13.5 kayak. So we've got our electronics set out and ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sonar pod out of this 13.5 lure. And the easiest way to do that, this is really great on this kayak, is you have one little latch to flip up right here and it lifts right out. So now we're ready to take this over to the bench and install our unit on it. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna flip our sonar pod over. We're gonna take our transducer mounting bracket and we're gonna lay it up on our sonar pod so that we can mark where we wanna drill the holes while we install this. Little mark right there. And a little mark right here. You can put these virtually anywhere you want to up and down the sonar pod. Uh, I prefer to always set mine as far front as possible. That gives me plenty of room in the back if we decide to add a different transducer later on. So now we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes in here. So now we have our bolts that are gonna go through this hole. Now the one thing I always do after I drill a hole in these, I'm gonna put the uh, bolts through here and I'm also gonna add a little uh, marine grade rubber silicone. What that does is this seals my pod up, that way we don't get any water in it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little silicone around these holes. Okay, so now I'm gonna seal around, silicone around these holes use plenty you can uh, never have too much but you can always have too little you want to make sure that you don't get any water in here after we put this transducer on and we get it to the water We're gonna run these in. I always drill the holes just a shade smaller than the bolt so I can run the bolt through there. That way I know I got a good connection in here. Now the silicone that we put on the outside, we're gonna do the same thing on the inside. Now I'm gonna come in. I always like to put some extra washers in here. That way if I do bump this on the bottom of a lake or a river or whatever, hit a little stump or something, I'm not gonna tear my transducer out through the bottom of this. The uh, washers just give me a larger platform for it to rest against. The other thing I'm doing is I'm using the nylon lock nuts. That way I don't have to worry about these backing out. Now I'm just gonna tighten this down. Okay, so I've got the washers on both sides. I've got it tightened down. As you can see, we're good and secure here. So now we're gonna get ready to start mounting everything else on here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the transducer into the transducer bracket. Uh, we have the little star drive ratchets, which will keep your transducer in the position you put it in. I'm gonna show you one of the little tricks I use when I'm putting these little stars in here. They're kind of small and hard to hold on to while you're trying to put the transducer in there. So if you take a little bit of silicone Put it on the star like that. Fit it into the ratchet spot. It's gonna help hold it in place and it's not gonna hurt it. So we're gonna do both sides like that. All right, so now both of my stars are in there. 
Take a towel, wipe the excess uh, silicone off my hand. Now this is our new Lowrance HDI Exonic Transducer. It's got a nine pin connection to work with the Elite TI units. I'm gonna take my slide, put the slide on here, seat it into place. Now, like I was talking about these little stars, they hold the ratchets in here. We're gonna slide this right into place here. As you can see, everything is gonna be held into place nicely. Now we're gonna put the bolt on. We're gonna slide this into position here. We're gonna get the bolt through and we're gonna put the rubber washer on, the metal washer. And again, we're using these nylon lock nuts. That way we don't have to worry about this coming off at some point later. Now I'm gonna take my 7 16 inch wrench Put one on each side of this. And tighten it down. Okay, we're pretty good and solid there. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over. As you can see, the sonar pod has a hole in it right here. That's gonna allow us to run the cable from the transducer inside the box. Take a minute, undo your cable all the way first. It pulls through a lot easier. So we're gonna push this right through that hole. As you can see, it comes out on the inside of the box. Now we're just gonna pull this all out to the side. Now there's a little groove on the side. This is a good spot for you to kind of wedge your transducer cable in. That way when you put it in the kayak, it sits right in here this side. And like I said, we're gonna tie all of this stuff up on the inside and it's just gonna sit in here nice and neat and then we're gonna set our battery in here and we're gonna be ready to go. Okay, so now that we pulled all this cable up in here, we're gonna zip tie it, make it ni look nice and pretty. It's bent around and started. If you don't have one of these, these zip tie guns are great. Ready? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our quick release bracket, which this is what the Elite TI unit mounts on. We're gonna take it, we're gonna mount it to the top of our sonar pod lid, then we'll be ready to go. <laughs> As you can see, this is double walled. Those bolts aren't gonna be sticking through where they're gonna scratch you or anything like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this set in here and we're gonna pull our transducer cable out the top and then we're gonna connect our power wires. So in the lid of your sonar pod, you can see this cutout up here. It takes a little bit of fishing it through there. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but you kind of want it that way. We're gonna feed our Transducer cable out the top. Okay. 
And now we've got our transducer fed through the hole in the top of the uh, sonar pod lid. Now we're going to take our power cable for the Elite TI. We're going to feed it back down through. All right, now we got it pulled out to where we want it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold up the excess wire in here also from the power cable. We're gonna put a couple of zip ties on that. That way we've got extra room in here so we can set our battery in here. Now we're gonna zip tie our excess battery cable up. Again, I'm going to use my zip tie gun. And again, I'm going to put a second zip tie on here and use my zip tie gun. Snug it up tight. Uh, I, I really like using this. I like to keep everything nice and tight and don't have a lot of extra wire sitting in here. Uh, and the zip ties are the greatest way to do that. So now that we're at the lure 13.5, we can see all of our wires are nice and clean in here. We're going to go ahead and put the nose down in. We're going to set the sonar pod in place. We're going to latch it down. And now we're ready to go ahead and put the battery and the Elite TI unit on the sonar pod. Now that we've got our sonar pod back in the lure 13.5, we're going to go ahead and open the top up like I said, we try to keep all of these wires neat. We're ready to take our battery. We're going to connect our positive and negative on the battery. The battery is going to sit right down inside. Close the sonar pod up. We're going to latch it on both sides. Now we're going to take the Elite TI. We're going to connect our power cable. And our transducer cable. Slide any excess cable that we have back inside the sonar pod. Lift up right here. Slide it into place. Now that we have our power cable connected, we have our transducer cable connected. We've got the battery locked inside the sonar pod. Now we're going to power this unit up. As you guys saw, we installed the HDI, which is our hybrid dual imaging transducer on this boat. And what that does is that gives us medium chirp, high chirp, and it also gives us down scan imaging. The great thing about this new unit is if we hit settings, sonar, and go to installation, you can see right here it already reads this transducer type. So now you no longer have to go in and tell it what transducer you have connected to this kayak. So we're good here. We're going to hit save. As you can see, we're tracking bottom already. Uh, through the air, sound moves a lot slower, so we're showing at 11 feet. Once we get into the water, it would properly show that at about four feet, which is how high we're sitting here roughly. So now this uh, lure 13.5 is ready to take to the water and catch some fish.